and you know it's simple I mean it's just it's not uh, you know decorative strips right there for a while for a lot of canoes I put decorative strips in them and stuff mm -hmm. but, but you know that's really not necessary no he was concentrating on function over yep and you know I, he also would have liked it to be a little bit more decorative but you know at the same time when it's in the water <laughs> yeah. that's right yep. and you know everybody that sees oh what a beautiful boat you know, yeah so <laughs> one of the first ones i did that had a decorative strip all the way in the end mm -hmm. we were down to brushy creek and these guys the family were in a motorboat and they, they you know you can only go so fast you know no yeah. wake lake uh -huh. and uh they come by and it was quite a ways out in the lake it says beautiful canoe <laughs> <laughs> yeah and well okay <laughs> And then you'll run across the people and say, oh, yeah, that kind of detracts from the beauty of the canoe. Uh, well, whatever, oh, really? you know, right. everybody's got their... That's interesting. Yeah. It takes yeah. about a day to put a, you know, I spend a day putting a, a decorative strip together. One of those, it's all pieces and stuff. You know, uh -huh. but, uh, and it paddles like... It paddles. Yeah, it, it is a good... It's perfect lake boat. Yeah. Just so. See where I mean? There you go. Uh, it takes a little while. I think this morning. <laughs> Just, you, know, I, you know, I'm still here. <laughs> Anything this morning, I'm going to go with maple and brown. Put something out for you, don't I? Poor guy, you're starving, aren't you? Absolutely starving. Now, when I got up this morning, go to the bathroom. I thought I heard Sam bark. Did he bark one? No, nope, he didn't. Mm -hmm. And does he sometimes, when you're in the tent, bark or think there's something around? Oh, uh, very, very, very rarely. Yeah, okay. <laughs> About the only time he's barked at me, or barked lately, you know, within the last few years, yeah. is uh, when he when he wanted to go to bed and I was. <laughs> you were still up. Uh, it's hard to me. Yeah. <laughs> Our rat terrier, when the kids were little, they'd be sitting there watching TV at night, and about eight o'clock, it'd come up there and sat there and stare at him like, <laughs> "Okay, it's time to go to bed." You know, <laughs> it's so comical. He used to bark at beavers. Yeah. And, uh, doesn't even do that. Yeah. He's, he's never accepted. He's never barked at squirrels or. Chipmunks or anything, oh. he just chases them. Yeah, chase chases them. Quietly. Stalker. Yeah. We grew up, I had a Manchester Terrier, and it loved to chase critters and stuff. Yeah. And it would watch the squirrel across the neighbor's yard and then across the street. Uh -huh. And it'd sit there in the yard and watch it till it got to a certain point. Uh -huh. it, just like it was calculating, thinking this was the best opportunity to go after. <laughs> it never did catch one, but uh -huh. it uh, would always try and get that opportune time to make his dash. And just like a, a cheetah or a yeah. lion would. <laughs> right. Yeah, the dogs are... I don't think you want banana chips. No. I just don't think you'd like them. I tried you on an apple one on the last trip. You spat it right out, so I'm mm. not going to waste time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I ate too many of these yesterday and went out. I don't know if they're going to last me through the. Yeah, it, it. That represents that little bag represents quite a few bananas, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I think there's four bananas. Well. Four bananas? Okay.
must have had some success. <laughs> I saw you over on that island. I figured you were cleaning fish. fish. Uh huh. After a delicious fish lunch, I headed back into the campsite to continue taking some macro photos. Noticing a lot of insects on some asters, I decided to try doing some macro videos as well. The wind made both the photography and the videos somewhat challenging. Split a package that I was split a, a package. Yep. It was a two and a half serving or something like that. Yep, two and a half serving. So it's one and three quarters each. And I split between. I put half in packet gourmet bag, container, and the other half back in here. Oh, Sam, 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 Sam. Sam. Are you having a good time? You know, one of the big problems with Mountain House lasagna in the past has been that the cheese really sticks to your fork. <coughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, it, or your spoon, in my case, or whatever. But I noticed with this package, you know, when I had, uh, had it on the last trip, it didn't stick very much, and it's not sticking very much. So I don't know if they changed the formula a little bit, or what happened or whether it's just this particular pack but there's hardly any cheese I mean it used to be you stir it when you pull your spoon out and it would just be covered with gobs of cheese oh, yeah. and look it's uh, hardly it's got come out clean anything on it now use a different kind of artificial cheese mm -hmm. so After supper, Jim went back out to fish some more while I stayed in camp, filming and photographing the awesome sunset that unfolded before my eyes.
After breakfast, it was time to go back to the Astors and their visitors. I soon got stir crazy. Despite the cloudy skies and choppy water, I decided I just needed to head out in the canoe. Shepherd's Cottage Pie tonight. <laughs> I hope I do it right this time. Yeah, we use that Chinese restaurant a lot, but we always order the same thing all the time, you know. I don't know if that's a quarter cup or not. I got wrong before. Now this time the potatoes look like I did them right. <laughs> They're not. It's not potato soup this time. All right. <laughs> it looks like potatoes, right? <laughs> <laughs> and this looks good too. So I'm gonna give this a stir.
later. Yes, good. Turned out much better than it did on the last trip. <laughs>